Beach FM kick off sports breakfast show with HMC Car Fee, your local authorised care and Suzuki sales and service agent, and now your local AA Auto Centre. At HMC Carpety, the journey just gets easier. Find out how easy online at hmccarpety.co.nz. You're back on the kickoff sports breakfast show on Beach FM 106.3. Well, after a fantastic club rugby season, let's talk to the CEO of the Horofenua Kapiti Rugby Union. It's Corey Kennett. G'day, Corey. Kia ora. How you doing, mate? After that spectacular nine weeks of uh, club footy around the around the region. Oh, brilliant! It was fantastic, wasn't it? You know, uh, Crikey, five months ago, um, if you said to me we were going to be able to get through that, um, I, I would have ripped your arm off if you offered it to me. So it was just fantastic and um, just brilliant. I think it's indicative of how we are as Kiwis. We, we just rolled up our sleeves and got it done, and everybody chipped in, and there was just a, a brilliant mood of positivity and. Uh, you know, we got all but there to the last week of having um, uh, people being able to attend to, to 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 the games and missed out finally on the final. But but besides that, that part aside, we got we got all of our footy played, and that was just brilliant. Absolutely, mate. A shortened season, you know, we had, we had to adjust, obviously. But um, I think I think it made it a little bit more competitive. Maybe I don't know because every week you just had to scramble for those points. Yeah, so we're saying, you know, under the banner of, of COVID learnings, um, we, we've been engaging with our stakeholders, and certainly there was a lot around having a shortened season that people liked. Um, you know, one of the real positives to come out of the lockdown was the extended amount of family time that was available um, to our participants, our athletes. Um, and you're dead right, the competitive edge was, was, was heightened and it was sharpened because you had less... Uh, games to play, um, so it's it's amazing. So we're um, we're doing a full review, and fair to say that there's a lot of things that sort of happen by accident that could possibly be by design next year. Mm. You t- you talk about uh, the more family time, and that that has always been something that has been an issue. Well, not an issue. It's just always been there with club rugby. Is you've got a family, you've got a job, you've got bills to pay, you've got you've got mouths to feed, so you can't always be there on a Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. So, do you think with this maybe we might have people get back out there, like uh, more more engagement, if it was in and out more of a of a club season? Yeah, it, it's interesting. So, um, and, and, and things that have happened that you just wouldn't have seen. So, we've actually had more people playing senior rugby this year, adult rugby, uh, than we did last year. Awesome. So, with all of the disruption and everything that happened, we had we had more people playing this year. So, you know, we're going to go through and review and get into the drill and to detail of why that is. Is it because they had more more time off beforehand? Um, should we play the season later? Should we play it shorter? Should we be in the middle? And what we're proud of is we've moved away from a, a set menu type product that we we'll provide to people, and it's more like. Uh, um, we'll take your order. What would you like? And if you want a product that's a certain thing, we, we we find it's our duty to try and make that happen. And if it's something that's different but it engages more people, we've got to give it a crack. Absolutely, mate. Well, unfortunately, we live in those times. But yes, the, uh, the fortunates about it is with more input is, is people are going to show up, man. So that, that's tip of the cap. What what were some of the highlights of, of the shortened season for you? I mean, I, I watched some close games that could have gone either way. I mean, I watched a game every week and I loved every second of it. So what were some of the highlights for you? Yeah, well, you've nailed probably the number one, the competitiveness and the closeness of the season of both divisions. Um, anybody could beat anyone on their day. And, and you know, we, we, we had a couple, and there really was only a couple of larger scores, um, but, but we didn't have any big blowouts, which we sort of had every year. We'll have a couple of those. We didn't tend to have those. Uh, probably going back to my previous comment about the positivity, and that overflowed into the, the, the camaraderie um, with other teams. And so there was a real heightened positive amount of interaction between our opposing teams um, and that overflowed onto the field and, um, I suppose with, with Kiwis you know you starve them a bit of rugby and, and they, they, the appetite really comes to the fore so we had good crowds the clubs are in good health um, which, it's amazing and we were so proud to see we've been engaging with our clubs all year that they're financially healthy um, and so we've managed to get through a, 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 an amazing storm 
can come through the other side pretty good. Absolutely, mate. Well, I saw you around the traps a couple of times. I've seen you in your number ones. I've seen you in your HK number ones, and I've seen you in your in your Cobb track suits. And and each time, mate, you had a massive smile on your face. So I I know how much uh, the the grassroots system um, means to you, and and it shows. So it was awesome to be a part of it this season. Yeah, oh, look, I, I, I'm a I'm a lifelong rugby tragic, and uh, I've got a lifelong infection. And uh, to me, just seeing the differing levels and people are enjoying it, and and you ask anybody that isn't able to be part of a club or isn't able uh, to play or manage or spectate when that's taken away, and they'll tell you how much they miss it. And all of the common themes is around the friendship, the fraternity, the fun, the bond that brings them all together, which is our amazing game. So just to see everybody so happy and enjoying themselves uh, gives me an immense sense of pride and joy. Absolutely. Well said, mate. Well said. Well, we're looking forward now. We've got a, a, our first squad um, named in the Heartland set up uh, by Chris uh, last week. We had him on the show, but we couldn't confirm any fixtures, but we can now. So it looks like you've got four games coming up. Yeah. So um, we've, uh, once again, funny how things happen by, by accident instead of design. So with the level two, We've unfortunately had to postpone or move the date of Sam's Day, our day, which is a, a fundraiser being being run in conjunction with uh, Rahui Rugby Football Club at Otaki for Sam Doyle, who's going through a tough time with leukemia. And uh, that was drawn to be on September the 5th. We were having uh, one or two in Wellington as the curtain raiser and then ourselves versus what at Upper Bush is the main game. And because that would still be under level two restrictions and and which would mean no crowd. We've moved it to the 19th, right. um, so we will still be playing one and up. Unfortunately, uh, Wellington and Manal 2 won't be involved. But with that movement, it's actually made the schedule um, quite nice and tight and sequential. So um, 19th of September in Ōtaki against Wadarapa Bush, 26th of September at Playford Park at Levin against Central Hawks Bay, um, 3rd of October against Wanganui in Shannon, and 10th of October our only away game against Wairarapa in Masterton. Awesome. Exciting stuff, exciting stuff. Is that going to, I'm sorry to put you on the spot here, but is that on? Is that streamed or is that on television or anything like that, those games? Yeah, we're working working through that with um, uh, Oriana uh, TV. Oh. Have been amazing this year, which you've been a huge part of, mate. And um, just a, a big shout out uh, to the crew there because it's been a, a product that the whole rugby community has, has loved. Um, since not only did we get good crowds at all the games, but we had a, um, a huge buy-in from people that were out of district and overseas. And uh, it was a little bit of a pins on the world map of where we were getting reports from, which was fantastic. So we're just working through it with, uh, with Oriana and then uh, some of the other coverages uh, are also looking to cover as well. So we'll definitely have some footage of, uh, around that. Beautiful. I, music's my the smile on my face right now. Hey, uh, absolute <laughs> honour and getting those messages all over the world was uh, pretty special. And the numbers were crazy, I'm, I'm just going to say. Okay, and last question yeah. for you, mate. You've got the um, – we've just seen an outstanding super rugby season, uh, the, the condensed, the Aotearoa set up, and you've got the boys uh, from the Hurricanes set up in the region this week coming up. Yeah, it's, it's brilliant. A great initiative uh, by the Hurricanes – our franchise, and they're making their way around um, the member um, provincial unions. And so, this coming Wednesday, second of September, uh, we'll have uh, the four Hurricanes coaching panel uh, come to uh, Playford Park to the Ohepa Jacob Community Rugby Centre um, for a Q and A evening, and to be able to um, interact with our coaches. So, to have those guys uh, come along is pretty special. Um, and, and, you know, it's great to be able to have them be able to interact with our own coaches. So you've got Jason Holland, Chris Gibbs, Corey Jane, Dan Kwan and Darren Larson. So it's, it's fantastic. And uh, so we've already had a, a huge buy-in. It's going to be a great night and just the guys be able to come down and, and interact. Absolutely. Fantastic, mate. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time, Corey. Thank you for the opportunity to work uh, next to you guys this season. And, and yeah, listen, may it, it long continue, my friend. Go well. Enjoy the weekend. Thank you very much, and thanks for the support this year.